OMG or Dark Side or Ball Buster or whatever you want to call it. Like 50 billion channels that constantly listen to seriously go disappear. This doesn't compare to any other channel I have because, yes, I even made cards before on those. Anyway, as I said before, fire. Oh man, you just came out of nowhere. Anyway, we are going to talk about the spin and spin fire. Usually, it'd be easier if you had two people. I mean, the last time I do this when I was homeless, and I've been homeless a lot, literally, I would just move in the middle of nowhere and build my city up there, freaking douchebags out there. How do you know I hear them? You got infrared. Oh, really? Hmm. You didn't know that? I knew that, but like, I'm asking why you're here for it. Because of, uh, what you doing? I'm not going marijuana. I'm pretty sure you can see with the iron every day and that's dogs and everything back there. But anyway, back to the subject ahead. Like I said, if I really want to drop off the mouth. <laughs> anyway. Uh, or cocaine trees, whatever you want to call it. Decide to find stuff. Anyway. We're going to talk about the spin fit fire. I don't know the term lies, but we're going to call it the spin fit. Usually, you get dry wood, get plaque. I get like a not plaque, but literally dry wood. Actually, it can ought to be dry, super dry, where you have more chance of creating an ember. This is a lighted firewood or tin, crate tin that's been lit. It. Or you can get something this big that's not that dry, but it's dry, sort of. And you, by the time you get to the bottom, you dry out as you spin it and it comes out of the bottom. And you have the ember on top of tender that goes to Canada, that goes to fuel, that goes to the major fuel, that goes to the next set. This is fire. Anyway. We already know what tender is, something that extremely bond is gonna poof into flames, poofing gun, like ash or sawdust. Something extremely dry, and candle is the next thing that up to that level is not as dry as that, but it's drier than fuel. And then, yeah, that goes in, it feed the fuel, it takes me 30 minutes. 30 minutes to top as they recommend, but keep me on my survival train, stupid class. And then it takes about an hour for the next sort to go down, which is why you need to keep punching fuel in it. So it can go that. Usually you could just have to repeat it, but I'm not gonna do something that high level. Anyway, this is spin spin. Let's call it that. Hole here, stick here. Usually you want it to be like a curved angle instead of straight, or you can have it super pointy, but not straight because it's gonna break the whole stick. Usually you want a straight one, but you know you don't get me in those. And then you have a hole up here. You hold this down, and you get one of those. I'll show you one of my last videos on one of my other channels, and I was doing this with it, like, oh, you know, bit up my forearm, biceps, and shoulders, and stuff. Oh, that's a workout. Great. to start like that. Doing this with my toes and stuff, and it's a bow that... Crap. Oh, use this, that. It goes like... Hold on. Bam. Bam. Like, like this. And you have like a stick that's been like a bow and string it back and forth. You just do that. That's the easier way to do it because if you do this and try to do this, you're not gonna get anything unless you have another person doing this while you're holding that. And you're gonna have to switch out without stopping. Congrats. And then there's another one, but it's just a stick horizontal with a, a string going up. If you're doing the same kind of loop you do with the bow one and going through the other one, but that one you can do mailing and it's much easier. The only thing you have to do is go back and forth. And it will spin the whole thing like this. Oh man. And then there's this one. The freaking edge bar one. If you get a stick and just put a look a notch, this notch is supposed to be Somewhat bigger than a stick, probably just a little bit bigger if we can get in there. And you just just go back and forth. Oh man, build up the muscles already. Congrats. Let's go back and forth and back and forth and just pull up those embers. You are going to get immediate embers from this. If you, especially if you come up a spe specific angle and just go down it, you have no other choice but the embers. I've seen that. I almost burned my carpet. But, no. And then you can use a wire well on the end of it to put on your little freaking tender and stuff. I'm not going to show you how to get dry wood because I don't have time for that and stuff. It's pretty much no perfect example. Usually somewhere like Georgia or Texas or freaking 
Florida and Louisiana, since it don't snow that much down there, or New Mexico, freaking desert. It'd be much easier to start a fire. When you get to places like California and freaking further north Mississippi or Minnesota, Minnesota, freaking Montana, Wyoming, out of home, man. Enjoy the rain. There are many techniques to dry stuff off, and you can still start a fire even if the wood is wet. It just depends on what you use as fuel and tender. Anyway, I'm out.